Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Jamesy Tech YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Google Cybersecurity Certification versus the CompTIA Security Plus Certification, telling you which one is better, in my opinion, for your career path, breaking them down bit by bit in each category. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to watch this video to the end. Hit that like button, subscribe if you enjoy videos like these. Before we go ahead and hop into each certification, I have a Discord server linked down in the description below. If you're interested in joining, uh, we have various different people who are taking different certifications and different career paths. So I'm trying to build up a community of people who are in the IT and cybersecurity space who give each other advice, things like that, just build each other up. So if you're interested in that, there's a link down in the description below. So let's get right into it. So the Security Plus certification has been around since 2002. So it's been around for a very long time. It has around 700,000 people who have uh, passed the exam. Um, Security Plus asks you to know the fundamentals of IT and networking. They suggest that you take the A plus and Network Plus before the certification. That is not required, but that is something that CompTIA uh, asks of you before the exam. It has 90 questions and you need a 750 out of 900 to pass. So it is an exam that you need to pass to obtain the certifications. Some of the objectives are security concepts, vulnerabilities and mitigation, security operations and architecture, and then security program management. So that is the a little bit of overview of the CompTIA Security Plus. The Google Cybersecurity Certification is a lot newer. It was released in May of 2023. Uh, it requires no prior experience, so you can be starting from nothing and you can take this certification. It has 20,000 reviews, around a 4.8 star reviews for all of those uh, reviews. It has eight courses ranging from foundations of cybersecurity, network security, Linux, and SQL automation with Python, uh, detection and response, and preparation for interviews for cybersecurity jobs. So that was a bit of overview of each certification. Now let's hop into the price of both of these certifications. So the Security Plus will be $381, or with a student discount, it'll be $262. Um, along with that, you may need to buy other um, courses or books to actually study because that is just the exam voucher. That is not including like the learning uh, for the exam. That is just how much it is to take the exam. So for example, if you take like a Udemy course on the Security Plus, that's an extra like $20. Um, if you buy books, that could be anywhere from like hundreds of dollars. So there, there's a lot of uh, fluctuation with the Security Plus, but the exam itself is around three, uh, about $400 or 250 with the student discount. The Google Cybersecurity Certification is $49 a month. And that is the only thing you'll need to buy because the um, certification, the, the way that you get the certification is you go through the eight courses. And once you're done, you get the certification saying you completed all eight of the courses. So it's not an exam, but it is a course, which at the end you get a certification for it. So that is a way better price for the Google cybersecurity certification. So if you're trying to save money, this is probably the certification for you because $49 a month, if you complete it in like two or three months, it's going to be significantly less than the Security Plus, but if you take it for longer, then the price might, might add up after that. Now let's hop into the recognition of both of these certifications. The Security Plus is by far more recognized in uh, either like job descriptions or just in general in the cybersecurity space. The Security Plus has been around, like I said, since 2002, so it's been around forever. CompTIA is a big name for cyber or for certifications. So it's way more recognized than the cybersecurity certificate or Google cybersecurity certification simply because it's been around for longer and uh, CompTIA's name. Obviously, Google has a big name as well, but since they are slowly getting into the realm of uh, certifications, since they got the uh, IT professional certification and a couple others, um, they're newer with the certifications, but they are doing it in a different way than the uh, Security Plus certification. So as far as recognition goes, having Security Plus on your resume is going to generally do you more. While the Security Plus is better for your resume, however, you can use the Google Cybersecurity certification as leverage on your resume saying, I took all these eight courses and did these hands-on projects because the course also has quizzes and projects that you take in between chapters. So you have a lot more hands-on experience with the cybersecurity certification. So if you use um, the certification, right, you can leverage it pretty well in your interviews and it can probably do just as well as a security plus, but for landing the interview, the security plus is going to do you better. Now, as far as difficulty for these two certifications, the security plus is objectively harder than the cybersecurity certifications for a couple reasons. The main reason being that you have to pass an exam. You have to pass a 90 question exam and get a passing score. So obviously that is a lot harder than taking eight courses, even though those eight courses may take you a long time. You don't need to get a certain grade or a certain uh, like passing score to obtain the Google cybersecurity certification. Along with that though, the Security Plus also tells you that you should have 
prior knowledge in networking and uh, IT fundamentals. So those are another couple things that you might need to get over if you are wanting to take the certification. It doesn't have a lot, but it has a few prerequisites that you need to have to take the exam. Obviously they're not required, but they do def they definitely help you out a lot when taking the exam. However, a negative part of the cybersecurity certification is you can just click, click, click through the course and get the certification. So it could be hard to say if you actually have those skills and if you actually paid attention during the course. So those are some things that you can take away from the cybersecurity certification. As long as you're able to prove uh, what you learned in the course, I think that's a generally a good thing. But in the Security Plus, it's better because you actually need to pass an exam and it proves to an employer that you actually passed a relatively hard quiz. Now, as far as how long it takes you to obtain each certification, the Google cybersecurity certification is going to take you a lot longer, in my opinion, than the security plus to obtain, unless like, like I said, you click, click, click through the courses or skip some of the content. Um, the Google cybersecurity uh, certification has 170 hours worth of content. So that is a lot to go through, whether that's videos, hands-on quizzes, things like that. It's going to take you a very long time to go through all eight of the courses, but you do learn a lot more while doing that. So if you're someone who is uh, new to cybersecurity, knows nothing about security or like programming and automation, the cybersecurity certification is probably a good idea for you since you could actually learn um, and get hands-on experience. I think that's that could be a really positive thing for the cyber, uh, Google cybersecurity certification, but it will definitely take you longer since you are adding those hands-on portions in there and a lot more content. As far as the uh, Security Plus certification, it's kind of subjective to how fast you learn. For me, I took the Udemy course, um, um, Jason Dion's Udemy course, and it was about 40 hours long. And then after that, I took my exam. So it was 40 hours of content versus 170 hours of content. Um, I studied for about three months for the Security Plus, which you could probably gain or obtain the cybersecurity certification within three or four months. Just depends on how quick you are. So I guess it's a little subjective, but um, the Security Plus will generally, it can be a lot quicker for you to obtain it because some people take two weeks to practice and take the exam and pass. Some people take, you know, months. But the Security Plus gives you definitely more um, flexibility with how long it takes. Now, as far as career readiness and how that goes, the Google Cybersecurity Certification will generally have the upper hand in this category. A few couple reasons why is um, if you're someone who's completely new to cybersecurity, this will get you all of the fundamentals you need. Along with that, the automation, things like that, SQL, Linux, some of those basic things that are not seen in the Security Plus. And if you don't know what those things are, that can... Uh, give you a little hill to climb as you, you know, get into the cybersecurity space. I think learning those concepts is pretty important. Um, but like I said, though, the Google cybersecurity certification is kind of weaker on your resume. So people generally will say, take the Google cybersecurity certification before the security plus, because I think they align pretty similarly. If you get, if you get the Google cybersecurity certification, you could probably pass the security plus after a few more uh, weeks or months of studying. However, the Security Plus learning outcomes are pretty nice. They give you general security concepts, but like I said, they don't give you a lot of hands-on experience. They give you the security concepts and basic security fundamentals on how to handle certain situations. So the learning outcomes from both are generally pretty good. If you're someone with IT and networking experience, though, I don't think the Google cybersecurity certification is completely necessary. But someone who uh, doesn't have any experience at all, I think that could definitely be good because it puts some projects on your resume. So in conclusion, the Google cybersecurity certification is good if you're completely new to cybersecurity or have no prior experience or if you're looking to save money. Um, it could definitely teach you the basics, but it, like I said, it will take longer. Um, along with that, the Security Plus is good if you uh, want a strong resume and you're already familiar with some of the IT or networking concepts. Um, but yeah, both certifications are generally going to do you well regardless. 75% um, of people, according to Google, have positive outcome from taking the Google Cybersecurity Certification. So I'm not going to say one or the other is horrible. You shouldn't do this one because honestly, they're both really good to have and give you the experience to get a job in the cybersecurity space. So yeah, guys, that was my personal opinion on these two certifications, which one might be better for you than the other, things like that. If you guys want to join my Discord, it is in the description down below. You can ask me any question in there. If you comment down below, I'll ask or answer any questions as well. Uh, let me know if I didn't uh, mention some things that you think would be relevant to mention, and I'll go ahead and uh, acknowledge that. So yeah, may, uh, thank you guys for watching. This is James D. Tech, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.